Before we start today's episode of the Boosted Podcast, I have got some exciting news to share with you. For the month of July, I am giving away one month trial of the Boostly content creator. Now you may be asking and may be thinking, well, what is the Boostly content creator? Um, host that I have come into contact with in the five years of doing Boostly. And when I say to them, you need to be posting every single day on social media, you need to be emailing your guest and your list. They always say to me, I haven't got the time. And I can't think of a better month to promote the Boostly content creator than July, because right now everybody around the world is busy busy, 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 and they haven't got the time to think about the marketing or the social media or the emails. When in fact, the best time to do marketing is when you're at your busiest, because that means that you always have a pipeline coming through. So I created the Boostly Content Creator for busy hosts. Now, what do you get? Every single month, you get 30 to 40 pieces of fresh social media content that you can use uh, for your social media channels, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. You also get video templates, which are designed to stop the scroll on social media, which is really powerful. Email templates designed by expert copywriters that are working so well. Georgina Behrman, um, messaged up in our Facebook group to say that she used one of the email templates and got free bookings, direct bookings instantly, which more than covered the cost. You also now get website headline generator tools. You get a money back guarantee and you can cancel anytime. The price is only £5 a month. And right now, when you sign up, you go into the uh, boostlycontentcreator.com, you add to your basket. In the coupon code section, you type in July and you get the first month free. Now that is only available for the month of July. After that, it's £5. If you don't want to continue, you can just cancel at any time. But please make sure that you go and you use the Boostly Content Creator. My goal is the month in the month of July is to get 1,000 new hosts to register and sign up. This is how powerful I know this tool is because the email templates in itself are providing a massive return of investment and I would love for you to come and join. This is for new members only. Just go to boostlycontentcreator.com, add it to your basket, put in coupon code JULY and I'll see you on the other side. Right, now we've got that out of the way, let's get on with today's podcast episode. So welcome back to another Boostly podcast and we are still looking at Airbnb. Now if you're wondering what I'm doing Go and just look back over the last few days. You'll see that I'm helping Casa for you um, have a little Boostly tune-up. And I'm going to be focusing on lots of different aspects of the business. Uh, but at the moment, I'm focusing on Airbnb and showing you simple little things that you can do that can turn a potential looker into a potential booker. Uh, we focused on the listing. We focused on the profile. Today, I'm going to delve back in and go through some of the untapped resources and parts of your Airbnb profile that are criminal to miss out on. So for those of you that have been watching the last few days, you will know that we've been working on one of the apartments that's been struggling to get bookings. We've amended the pictures. We've taken a lot of the old ones out. We've replaced them with new ones and we've really honed down on the most important aspects. We've added captions to every one. We've changed the listing title. We've added in a little icon. We've changed the description. Um, for each one as well. We've got a, a, a listing that is in Dutch, in um, Spanish and in English because these are the three main types of clients that um, Yannick and Tim get. Uh, we've, we've, um, we've amended the, the, the description very clearly. Uh, we've gone for very little wording, which tells as much as what we need to know. And um, what I've just done here is I've really just bullet pointed down the space. So again, this is what um, Yannick and Tim had, and this is what I'm going to ask them to change them to, and obviously translate it into, into Dutch and Spanish. Guest access, again, we've made sure that we've got this information in here. Um, other details to note, um, again, this is a, a line that I took from uh, Danny and I've optimized it just a little bit and amended it a little bit for us. But again, it's, it's really important to let them know this is a, not a hotel. <laughs> and um, again, just you always got to be um, setting the standards for the guest. Again, a shout out to Danny from Optimize My B&B for that little tip. Again, um, what we're going to do as we go down on here, <clears throat> we've got to make sure we fill out these um these little parts of the listing that you don't even think about. Okay, uh, so again, getting around, we've put in about 
um, the local area about car rental company and again recommending a, a local car rental company we couldn't put the url in but we just say to make sure of a casa for you sent you again a real good feature that you could potentially do here as well if you've got any relationship built up with your local taxi drivers or car rental companies again it's a great thing to be doing same thing is going to be for the neighborhood description um what we're basically telling people here is um a little tiny little segment about where the area is and then this. We, we have a list of personal recommendations and secret spots that we will send you once we make a reservation. I will delve into that a little bit more in future episodes, but that's a little bit of a teaser of what's going to be coming definitely. I'm going to ask and make sure that Janek and Tim go in and fill in these, make sure all the amenities are ticked off. Always make sure that you keep on top of the amenities because they do always get updated by Airbnb. So just make sure that you're doing these so we've got three things that are a little bit outdated so again i'm going to make sure that your neck and tim go in and uh, and update them but again we've got all of this information that we're going to um eventually sort um and pop, pop into the um the title properly and again directions and everything like that we will we will um we will sort out and we will make sure and making full use of all of this that's a very key part make sure you've got every single section of your listing ticked off which is where we're getting there right now so the, already the listing looks a lot better um and i'm looking forward to coming back and, and and showing you and sharing with you some results over the course of the coming weeks so what i would love at this point as i'm doing the boostly tune-up for casa for you i'd love for you to you in the comments send a link to your airbnb listing let's do this so again if you're listening on the audio you can email mark at booster.co.uk if you're watching on youtube linkedin instagram wherever you're watching pop it in the comments and i'll go and and, and check it out and if you would like me to do a booster tune-up for you let's do a little test here email mark at boostly put the subject tune up if i get enough people that are interested in this service i may actually make it a proper offering from boostly in the future but thanks for tuning in today i'll be back tomorrow Having a blast, gonna get it on the Boostly podcast. Boostly like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it just do it loosely.